the genesis of the software was really when we started doing research looking at uh, head impacts and looking at uh, how the head responds to an impact either in a vehicular accident or when it's hit uh, with a projectile and we started to look at uh, how we could use traditional physics-based simulation tools that were had successfully been used for many years in aerospace and automotive but of course to do that we needed a model of the head so we needed a computer model of the head and traditional techniques had been based on models being based on drawings in this case of course because it's a human body there the human head there was no drawings we needed some method of converting image data, MRI, CT data that you can capture uh, into the kinds of models that would uh, be suitable for physics-based simulations. In the early 2000s then we decided uh, very early on to spin out a company. During a number of years from 2000 to approximately 2007 we really built up an arsenal of algorithms, techniques and also of course computer code um, because we need to embody it in some way that's saleable. Uh, so we had, a, a, by 2007, a pretty good software product. The whole process starts with um, scanning an object. Uh, that image would then be imported into the software, Scan IP we sell, and it would be processed in such a way that we could reconstruct surfaces from it to break it up into these primitive uh, shapes, which are suitable then for uh, what are well-established uh, commercial physics-based simulation solvers. The software provides assistance at an early stage in the design process, in the research and design process, by enabling an understanding of um, both the mechanisms at work and how a product will be perform or how it does perform in order to be able to change then, obviously, how it's designed to perform better. We were surprised to find that actually there was a very broad range of applications for the software across a number of different industries. Initially, the medical market was a large market for us, so things like implants, hip implants, but then it led on to products that interacted with the human body, so consumer products, shaving products, and more recently it's gone over to even more industrial applications, so the reverse engineering of engines, components, uh, so the primary way in which it helps our customers or how customers can benefit is by simplifying and reducing the cost of trialing uh, hundreds and hundreds of different designs physically uh, by replacing this physical testing with a, an early virtual testing. We have 20 employees here, uh, many from a physics background, so the, the company is centered in Exeter and the development is done here so the, and the support. In addition, we have some uh, employees abroad uh, with an office being in the US. We also are looking to expand and have an office in Germany as well. We've grown uh, approximately 600%, I think, since 2008. It's a sort of 40 or 50% per annum growth. And the growth has been also across totally new sectors. The Institute of Physics Award is really a recognition of, of the hard work we've done and it's based on research we did early on uh, and managed to transfer from a university setting into a uh, company setting into a viable and, 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 and thriving commercial entity. Uh, so we're very proud to have received the Institute of Physics Award.